I am a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. And I say it from my heart, and I would like to share this with you, that I believe in the Seventh-day Sabbath, a Saturday, and I believe in the Second Coming of Jesus Christ. The Bible is the final authority in my life and in my faith. And I also believe that God had chosen a messenger to guide, to direct, and to inspire his movement. And that gift of prophecy was given to Ellen G. White, a messenger of God, a loving, humble woman who wrote admonitions, encouragements, and also firm foundations of faith from the Bible as well as from the inspiration from God above. As a Seventh-day Adventist, I'm committed to living a wholesome lifestyle, avoiding harmful chemicals that will destroy my, the temple body, which, which I believe God had created in me. I also avoid unclean foods that will develop diseases in my body. I eat to glorify my God. I drink to glorify my God. I live to glorify my Lord. And obedience, my friends, is not legalistic legalism. Obedience is a result of a loving relationship with Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior, my friend. We believe that this world will come to a definite end. And just before this world will end, the prophecies found in the book of Daniel and in the book of Revelation will play out in our experiences. And there are many people who, will, who would ask a question, will Sunday law really happen? Will the United States of America indeed be the land-like, land-based beast that Revelation 13 is speaking about? Will the Roman Catholic Church be the sea beast that we traditionally hold that will dominate and will rule the world in our time? Can all of these prophecies be true? Can all of these prophecies be real or even reliable? So what will happen if the Seventh Adventist Church, the prophecy and the teachings are fraud? What will happen? But what will happen if the Seventh Adventist Church, prophecy and teachings are true? A very solemn questions indeed for all of us to ponder upon. And it's very serious because we as Seventh Adventist Christians, we believe that we will be persecuted someday, that the world will blame us for what is happening in the world around us. Could this really happen? Could this end time event that we preach, that we teach, that we share, will really play out in our global trend, in our global experience? Hmm. Interesting. Dearly beloved, let me give you a straight answer. I believe that the storm is about to come. That will sweep the world. That will deceive the world. That will delude the world. Just because, just because they are not ready. Dearly beloved, I'm not here to picture a doomsday, gloomy day. But if that will be the result, then I cannot help. But that will be the result. Or I cannot do anything to stop 
that result. But what I'm here for is for all of us who profess to be followers of Jesus and Seventh-day Adventist Christians, that we need to be involved in this revolution to go back to our basic roots, and that is to be proclaimers of God's call for repentance. For God's call to believe the everlasting gospel, the three angels' message. This is not the time for us to be bickering, to be debating, to be uh, unmindful of what is happening. The trend of the world, let me tell you, is for violence, sexual immorality, and uh, equality, egalitarian to be the norm of our society and departing from what the Bible says is the threat of this world. That's why we are called by God to be proclaimers of His truth, of His final warning to this dying world. I am a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. I am convinced and convicted and the Lord is calling me to tell you to be a witness that someday God will require a solemn sacrifice on my behalf or a solemn sacrifice from my life God will someday call me to surrender everything and to follow his divine will and friends, when that time comes, the Lord will have mercy upon me and for all of us who have been called. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is touching your heart. The Lord would like to use you. The Lord would like to stir up your heart. The Lord would like to shake you up and be awakened. We are living in the prophetic time of the end. There is no more turning back. Just like the time before World War II happens, people didn't know that Adolf Hitler had a sinister plan to annihilate all the Jews if possible. But God kept the remnant. God saved the remnant that they could be witnesses for Him. The world did not bother to know. They go on with their lives. They continue to eat, drink, and be merry. They, they did not give importance to what is happening. But let me tell you today, friends, let me tell you today, dearly beloved, that if you are aware, Daniel and Revelation is playing out right our very eyes. This world will soon, will soon come to its final conclusion. God will make this world new and I would like to be there. 